praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom, family. Welcome, everybody, in the name of Jesus. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Christopher, you're welcome in Jesus' mighty name. Gail, you're welcome in the name of Jesus. RT, you're welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Sarah Hopkins, you're welcome in Jesus' mighty name. Augusta, you're welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I welcome everybody in the name of Jesus. Family, you are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if this is your first time coming live today, I welcome you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You've been family, of course, you know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that God will bless you, increase you, and reward you as never before in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in this amazing day. Please do not forget to like, do not forget to share, and also do not forget to subscribe. God bless you all. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I believe that God is about to bless somebody here. I believe that God is about to touch somebody through this medium today. In Jesus' mighty name, you're not finding yourself here by mistake. You're here because God brought you here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, can we raise up our voices as we begin to worship God? Can we begin to exalt the name of the Lord? Can we magnify his holy name? Can we give the Lord praise and can we give God glory in the mighty name of Jesus? Amen. Come on, somebody, please raise up your voices and begin to worship God. Begin to worship the King of glory. Begin to worship the ancients of days. Begin to worship the I am that I am. Give the Lord praise and begin to give God glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we begin to worship you this morning. We worship you this evening. Whatever the time zones in our various locations are, we have gathered to worship you, Father. We have gathered to give you praises. We have gathered to give you glory in the name of Jesus. Egando Sabra Somebody raise up your voices and begin to worship God. Raise up your voices and worship the King of glory. Raise up your voices and worship the ancients of days. Raise up your voices and worship the I am that I am. Give the Lord praise and begin to give him glory, somebody. Give the Lord praise and begin to give him glory. Give the Lord praise and begin to give him glory. Madu sabranda la kadaba shate. Ilebedeba sukata la boshadia. We begin to worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord, because you are God and you are God alone. Only you deserve our worship. Only you deserve our praises. Come on, raise up your voices and begin to exalt the King of glory. Begin to exalt the great I am that I am. Begin to magnify his holy name. Give the Lord praise and begin to give him glory somebody. Give the Lord praise and begin to give him glory somebody. There is none like you Jesus. There is none like you Jesus in all the earth. Rabanto 
Kanda Ladea. There is none like your father. There is none like you, Jesus. Come on, somebody, raise up your voices. Let our worship ascend unto God as a sweet smelling savour. Begin to worship God. Worship his holy name. Worship the King of glory. Worship the ancients of days. Worship the I am that I am. Give the Lord praise and begin to give him glory, somebody. Give the Lord praise and begin to give him glory. Give the Lord praise and begin to give him glory. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Jesus. We give you all the praises, Father, and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right now, I want to come in agreement with everybody that is here. Whatever you have been trusting and believing God for, what you have been praying for God to do in your life, the Bible says, ask and you shall receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. The following scripture says, for everybody who asks, receive, he who seeks will find, and he will knock, the door shall be opened unto them. I want us to understand by faith and with a prayer of agreement that God truly answers prayers. Sometimes it might delay, sometimes it might tarry, but God will eventually meet you at the very point of your need. It doesn't matter what has been happening. It doesn't matter for how long you've been praying. It doesn't matter for how long you've been trusting the Lord. The Bible says God speaking to his prophet, Habakkuk. He said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. He says, it might tarry. Though it tarry, it will surely come to pass at the appointed time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want us to pray and make this particular prayer of agreement. Whatever you've been trusting and believing God for, what you have been praying for God to do in your life, each and every one of your expectations, your heart desire, what is that thing in your heart that you've been pressing on God for? I am making a prayer of agreement with everybody that is here right now. Distance is not a barrier. Wherever you are in the name name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, I pray. May God send his angels on assignment for you in the name of Jesus. May God send his angels on assignments for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God send his angels on assignments for you in the mighty name of Jesus. There are people who receive angelic visitations and those angelic visitations will change your life for good. There are people who are about to see God in another dimension. God is sending angels in charge of your case. Thank you, Father. God is sending angels in charge of your case. He's putting them in charge of your case. There is about to be a great divine intervention in your life. God is putting his angels charged over your case. He's making, he's making them in charge. He's putting them in charge. Now, whenever you complain to an authority, now, it is either the authority do the thing that they have to do for you, or they put somebody in charge of your case to take control of that particular case. And that is what I just saw in the realm of the spirit. God is putting somebody in charge of your case. That is what God is doing for you. God is putting somebody in charge of your case. I don't know what you've been trusting and believing him for, but there is somebody who just got assigned because of you. There is an angel who just got assigned because of you. There is an angel who just got assigned because of you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One thing you must understand is that God has various means of working with us.
God has various ways of working with us. And the ways of God is always not the ways of man. Sometimes the means through which we want God to work for us or with us in our hearts and in our minds might not be the way he is doing it for us. Sometimes we get so worked up and so frustrated because there is that particular medium or way in which you wanted that miracle to go. There is that particular way in which you had already planted in your mind, in your heart, you know, this is how this thing should go. And there are people who have planted their lives. For example, maybe you're that one of you're one of those people who plant their lives at the age of these, at this particular age, I should have this. At this particular age, I should have this. At this particular season, at this particular time, and all that. So God is looking at you and saying, bravo, very important. You've had your life all planned. But he's like, I have a better plan for you because I know you more than you know yourself. I know the end from the beginning. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse number 11. This is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, I know the plans that I have for you. The plans of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. It is always a plan of good. Everything from God to me is good, regardless. Everything from God to me is good. And that is what you should always put it in your spirit. It might not be going the way you want it to go, but as long as it's God, that is the mastermind of that, it means it's always very okay, regardless and no matter what. What is coming from God to me is good. If it's a blessing, yes, it's good. If it's a rebuke, yes, it's good. Because God truly knows what he wants for me. And he will never mislead me. God will not mislead you. There is somebody who has been waiting. And God keeps telling you to wait. He keeps putting you in that particular position of waiting. You've been waiting for a long time. You've been believing God for a long time. You've been trusting the Lord for a long time. And you're not seeing anything. And yet he keeps asking you to wait. He keeps asking you to wait. There are people whom you had the opportunity to go about the things that you wanted to go about. But God denied. He told you, no, don't go about it. He told you, no, take the other way around. You know, God always knows what he wants for us. He plans it so well. And that is going to happen so good at the end of the day. And that is why the Bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning. It doesn't matter who is going ahead of me. It doesn't matter who is doing it best right now. It doesn't matter whoever is winning right now. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning, period. One of the things that makes a lot of us go under pressure and so much tension is the fact that you're looking at the life of another person. You're looking at the life of somebody who has built a house and you're asking yourself, when are you going to build your own house? You're looking at the life of somebody who is already married. You're looking and you're asking, when are you going to get married? You're looking at the life of somebody with kids and you're like, when am I going to have my own children? So it puts you under so much pressure. And when you're under pressure, sometimes it's very difficult to act the right way. Sometimes when you're under pressure, it is very difficult to act the right way. It is very difficult to act in the right direction. One of the things you must always tell yourself is that God will do it for you at the right time. You're about to encounter God. You're about to encounter a speedy transformation. You're about to encounter a very quick transformation. And even you will be surprised. Even you will be surprised. You are about to encounter a very quick transformation. And even you will be surprised. Things are going to happen so swift. Things are going to happen so speedily. Things are going to happen so quick. And God says, even you will be surprised. You're, you're going to be extremely surprised. Now, most of the times, while we are waiting on God and it seemingly look like 
We are on that delay. God is working out something. God is doing it for us. And that is why if you've been somebody who has been waiting on God, you notice that when your breakthroughs want to manifest, you begin to notice a speedy manifestation. And then you're asking yourself, when did this happen? How did this happen? Honey, God has been working on it all along. God has been working on it all this while. But we were humans, and because we are humans, sometimes our impatience makes us spiritually insensitive. We are so insensitive that sometimes we are really mad at God. You know, to think of the fact that Jeremiah actually told God that, God, you have deceived me. Then you can understand how frustrated Jeremiah was. Like, sometimes we keep waiting on the blessings. Sometimes we keep waiting on the miracle. Now, you know, one thing about human beings is that there is that one blessing that you want. There is that one miracle that you want. And even if God gives you all the rest of the other miracles, as long as you've not yet had that one particular miracle, you're going to feel like God is not doing anything, right? It's just like a woman. When a woman is with a man, she expects the man to do everything for her, for example. And a man can do so many things for a woman. And the moment the man doesn't do one of the things that she wants, she now feels like the man is not doing anything for her. And that's how we human beings are. You have a particular miracle you've been believing God for. You have a particular breakthrough. So God begins to bring the other breakthroughs your way. He begins to bring the other miracles your way. But something happens to you and you keep going back to that particular miracle that you want. So you keep telling God, can you just bless me with this? But come on, I have blessed you with the other ones. The Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, but he could still cry to God, will you bless me and enlarge my coast? It meant Jabez was more blessed than his brothers. He was more amazing than his brothers, but he could still cry to God. Now for him to still go and cry to God and tell God, will you bless me and enlarge my coast? It means probably there was a miracle, a particular breakthrough that he really wanted God to give him. And that is what a lot of us are going through. And when God begins to bring it to you, he makes it so speedily sometimes. You notice the breakthrough happened so swiftly. You notice the miracle happened. It came so quick. And then you start to ask yourself a question. Why did this happen so fast? What actually happened? God has been working it out. He has. God has been working things out. All this while, he has been doing it. He has been doing it. God has been working out things for our good. Most of the times we go through battles, but we forget the fact that God will let some things happen, not just because he's ignoring us, but for reasons that is best known to him. And most of the times we always come back to understand the reasons later. God is about to give you a quick miracle. You're about to encounter a very quick transformation. Even you will be in a great surprise about your blessings. You will be so surprised at what God is going to do in your life. You'll be in the place of extreme surprise. You'll be so shocked. A transformation that is going to bring about your next level. That transformation for your next level. The transformation for your promotion. The transformation for your upliftment. You know, I read the testimony of Donsha um, yesterday. She sent me her testimony. I read her testimony and I was extremely thrilled. I was so happy, you know, because personally, I've been waiting for that particular testimony. I've been waiting for it. And God told me about it. And most of the times, God will tell you about something and maybe it's going to take a while. The Bible says God speaking to his prophet Habakkuk. He said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. He says, though it tarry, it will surely come to pass at the right time. 
There are times we wait on God for our miracles. We wait on God for our testimonies. We wait on God for our breakthroughs. And most of the times it might delay, it might tarry, but it will surely manifest. It will surely come to pass. There is somebody under the sound of my voice right now. I don't know what has been your prayer request. I don't know what has been that particular heart desire. Maybe it might be about your financial life. There are people who want to be set free financially. There are people who have been praying for generational wealth. There are people who have been praying for financial breakthrough. You want to pay your debts. You want to pay your rents. You want to cater for your needs. The Bible says for it. It says, for my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. There are people who want to get married. You want to fulfill marital purpose, marital blessings. You want that marital fulfillment. God knows and he's at the right time he's going to make that come true for you. Somebody's looking for a job. You really want to work. You want to you want to you want you want to work because you don't want to be lazy. You don't want to be all alone. You don't want to feel that void in the inside of you. You want to work because you want to cater for yourself. You want to cater for your family. There are people who have health issues. Maybe you are sick, and you've been believing that God is going to restore your health. There are people with addictions. There are pe- a lot of cases. People praying to God about their businesses. I don't know what you've been praying to God about their ministries, about their families, about their lives. You've been praying to God and God says you're about to encounter a very quick transformation. A very quick transformation. You are about to encounter a very quick transformation. There is about to be a great change. I might not have the charisma for you, but this is a word and a revelation in time and a prayer in time that I'm about to pray with somebody and for somebody. You're about to encounter a very quick transformation. God is going to come true for you. It will be speedily. It will be speedily. It will be speedily. It will be speedily. God will come true for you. Hallelujah. If I'm speaking to you, please type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, God is coming true for me in the name of Jesus. If I'm speaking to you, please type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, God is coming true for me in the name of Jesus. God is coming true for me in the name of Jesus. God is coming true for me in the name of Jesus. God is coming true for you. God is coming true for you. This is your time. This is your season. This is your time. This is your season. God is coming true for you. It's coming true for you in that contract, in that project, in that business, in that marriage, in that relationship, in that ministry, that health challenge, that financial issue, whatever, God is coming true for you. He's doing that, honey. God is doing that. God is coming true for you. God is coming true for you. He's about to do it. He's about to turn somebody's captivity again. God is about to turn somebody's captivity again. He's about to turn somebody's captivity again. He's about to turn somebody's captivity again. Thank you, Jesus. I receive that word in the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I make a prayer for somebody that is here right now. Distance is not a barrier. If you believe in this prophetic word, as you're connecting yourself right now, I'm making a prayer with you and for you. Whatever you've been waiting on God for, the Bible says, For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. 
They shall walk and not faint. I pray for you in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. Receive a quick transformation in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Let your life receive a quick transformation. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak into your life and I make this prophetic declaration. Let your life receive a quick transformation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please somebody type it on the comment section. Connect yourself and make that confession. Say, I receive a quick transformation in my life. In the name of Jesus, my life is receiving a quick transformation. I receive a quick transformation in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, my life is receiving a quick transformation. My life is receiving a quick transformation. Thank you, Father. My life is receiving a quick transformation. Go ahead and begin to make that confession. Wherever you are, my life is receiving a quick transformation. My life is receiving a quick transformation. I receive a quick transformation in my life. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I receive a quick transformation in my life. I receive a quick transformation in my life. My life is receiving a quick transformation. God is coming through for somebody. My life is receiving a quick transformation. Thank you, Jesus. My life is receiving a quick transformation. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Halabosikata. Lebragado shapente latia candy. Isubragado shapanta latia. Rebedi sukete le bene monsacadi. I know the plants that I have for you. The plants of gold and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. God is bringing somebody to an expected end. He's doing that for you, my darling. God is bringing somebody to an expected end, towards an expected end. God is bringing you towards an expected end. Thank you, Jesus. God is bringing somebody towards an expected aim. Thank you, Jesus. He's doing that for you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A very quick transformation. Mm -hmm. Yes. A very quick transformation. A very, very quick one. A very quick transformation. And that will happen. And we all will glorify God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can we begin to thank God? Thank God for your transformation. Thank God for your testimonies. Thank God for your breakthrough. Please raise up your voices and begin to thank God. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for my blessings. Thank you, Lord, for my transformation. Thank you, Lord, for my testimonies. Go ahead. Begin to thank God, somebody. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. We glorify your name, Jesus. We thank you. Thank you for transformation. Thank you for increase. Thank you for speed. Thank you for promotion. Thank you for elevation. Thank you for our blessings. Elabano shikatayaba. Lebrende likosi banado city. We glorify your name, Jesus. We give you all the praise, Lord. And we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The culture of heaven is blessing to you. Here you're led to sow 
a seed of transformation. You want to pay your tithes. You want to make donations. You want to give an offering. Go ahead and do that. I'll call your names and bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless your hearts. God bless your sacrifices. God bless your offerings. God bless your seeds in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You're here. You're seeking body. I pray for you. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Please place your hands wherever you are sick. Place your hand wherever you are sick. I pray for you. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are healed in Jesus' mighty name. You are healed. Your seeking body, I pray for you. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have somebody who is sick. I'm using you as a point of contact right now. I'm praying for that particular person. That person is healed in the name of Jesus. Anybody in your life who is sick, I use you as a point of contact. And I pray that that person is healed in the name of Jesus. That person is healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You hear you're battling with addictions. You're going through depression. You're going through hurts. You're battling with attacks in your life. I pray for you. You are delivered and you are set free in the mighty name of Jesus. You are delivered and you are set free. You are delivered and you are set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You're here. You have somebody going through hurts, depression. You, they're going through battles in their lives. I use you as a point of contact and I pray. They are delivered and they are set free. They are delivered and they are set free. They are delivered and they are set free. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lioness of Judah, God bless your seed of transformation. Lioness of Judah, I make a prayer of agreement with you right now. Lioness of Judah, in the name of Jesus, I speak speed over your life. I speak speed over your life. Lioness of Judah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My catch up is now okay. Just in case you sent a seed on catch up before and it failed. Please kindly go back and resend, okay? My catch-up is now okay. God bless you all. Gail, God bless you amazingly for your seed of transformation. I come into an agreement with you, Gail, right now. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, I speak speed into your life, Gail. May God come true for you, Gail, in the name of Jesus. May God come true for you. On another level, Gail, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless your offerings. God bless your seeds in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God is doing a great thing throughout this particular season. God is blessing people greatly. God is uplifting people. God is transforming the lives of so many people. And you are one of those people he's blessing. You're one of those people he's increasing. You're one of those people that God is causing impact and a change in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless everybody with sown seeds through catch up and through super charts. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. What leaves your hands never leave your life. What leaves your accounts never leave your life. The Bible says whatsoever a man sow it, he shall reap it. May you reap in hundred folds. May God multiply and replenish your sources in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. People are still sowing seeds. Oh, I don't know what happened. This just failed again. It just got cancelled. Okay. Probably you canceled it, Lisa. Probably because it's showing canceled here, Lisa. Lisa, love, maybe you can try to resend again. 
Lisa laugh. Maybe you can try to resign again. God bless you. Hallelujah, family. Please keep praying for me. Keep trusting the Lord for me. Always call my name in the place of your prayers. Keep praying for me always. Pray for me. Intercede for me. Wow. I don't know. The payments have started failing again. I don't know the fault that is happening. One time is going and then the next time is not going. I don't know. You can just do that through PayPal, okay? Mrs. Liddell, Mrs. Liddell, you can just send the seed through PayPal if you can. Lisa Love, you can just send the seed through PayPal if you can. Hallelujah. My PayPal is there and it's very easy. Hallelujah. God bless you, family. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep praying for me. Keep calling my name in the place of your prayers. Always pray for me, please. Call my name in the place of your prayers. Thank you so much, family. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. It keeps failing. Lisa, love. It, oh, I don't know what is happening. I don't know. There are people whose payments will go through and others will not go through. I don't know what is happening. You can do that on, on PayPal, please. If you have PayPal, I would rather you do that on PayPal. Lisa, love and Mrs. Lido. God bless your hearts. God bless your hearts of sacrifices hallelujah now may the lord bless you may he keep you may he cast his face to shine in you may he be gracious to you and may he give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing amazing nothing broken in the name of jesus i love you i do i love you so so much i love you i love you so much so much so much um i'm always excited when i'm here i feel so different so many people it's been a very very long time i came on live very long time i know a lot of people know that we no more do prayers again and a lot of people are not aware but coming back makes me feel so happy coming back makes me feel so joyous i am happy and i'm happy that you all are still standing with me god bless your heart God bless you so much. I love you so, so much. God bless you amazingly. I've, I've missed you too. I've missed you too. Hallelujah. Keep praying for me. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the special grace of God, I'll see you all in our next prayer session. Every day we have a release of new prophetic words. Make sure you believe in them and make sure you're connecting yourself to each and every one of these messages. God bless you. I love you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.